Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to play a bit of audio for you, and then I'm going to make a small commentary on it and get out of here. So let's begin. There also have been a number of different males within the dominant society who have came out and made statements against Kobe Bryant, backing the women in their community, and we didn't see any smoke, any uproar, any roasting into oblivion of any of these people until Gail King came out and said something. Again, this is not to defend Gail King because what she did was indefensible, although she was being paid. We also didn't hear any mention of the white male dominated establishment that pays Gail King. This is why I continue to point this out. It's actually interesting that she says that because the day that Kobe Bryant died, there was a Jewish comedian, I believe he's Jewish, named Ira Schaefer. I talked about him on my channel. Um, there's a number of black men that talked about this guy. And this particular man actually said it was a joke, but it wasn't a fucking joke. He said that the day that he found that Kobe Bryant died, which was the day that Kobe Bryant died, he said it was the happiest day of his life. He said... The reckoning came 23 years too late. Kobe was a rapist. Fuck Kobe Bryant and fuck the Lakers. That's exactly what he said. He even made a video reaffirming what he said, doubling down on what he said. I called his ass out for that. A number of black men called him out for that. There were people that were on his Twitter that called him out for that. Black men and white men as well, okay? But there were many black men on there, and there were black men on there also looking to tap his fucking jaw to chin check him for what he said. So Cynthia G's a fucking liar, okay? And as far as calling out the establishment that Gail King works for, I've seen Professor Black Truth talk about that all the time. He's done a number of videos before the fact, okay? He's discussed that before about the Weinstein a particular shit that's going on right now, the shenanigans with, with, with Harvey Weinstein. He's talked about these particular companies that are in power that have all this power and control and put out these little agents like Gail King and Oprah Winfrey to do their little betting and stuff like that. Especially when it came to the Me Too accusations that got Bill Cosby put into, you know, into jail, even though Bill Cosby has himself to blame for putting himself in that situation to begin with. But also, not just Professor Black Truth, you also have uh, Jason Black, who's done the same thing. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell Cynthia G's talking about. And I'm not making this video to get her attention. Because I don't give a shit about Cynthia G's attention. I don't give a shit about any woman on YouTube who's black, who talks shit about black men. Just as much as I don't give a shit about any black man on YouTube that talks shit about black women. Because when you're doing that, you're not doing anything for your community. Like I said before, critiquing somebody is fine. You want to call out the messed up things that black men do. You want to call out the messed up things that black women do. That's fine. That's not a problem. But when you make it your life's work and that's all you're fucking doing over and over again, black men this, black men that, oh, this and that, black men are weak and this and that, then if you think black men are weak, then why don't you go find yourself a white man and stop talking about black men? All you black men out there, you know, black men who are out there talking about black women in the most negative way, why don't you just go find yourself a white woman or a non-black woman? You people waste your time spreading your hatred within your own people. And you think this is this is fucking the where it's at, and it's not. Now you can say, "Oh, shut the fuck up." I don't give a fuck about your opinions. I don't care about your opinions because, see, what I'm doing is actually right. I care about my people, and if I'm talking against interracial dating, that's because my people don't shouldn't be doing that. Interracial dating does not bring about more black people. That brings about different types of people, and I don't champion shit like that. I champion black love. I champion black women. I champion black men. The ones who count. The ones who deserve to be championed. The ones who deserve to be empowered. Cynthia G's not doing a goddamn thing for black people at all, but putting up entertainment pieces for swirlers to watch to enjoy because they can't stand black men to begin with. So anybody bad-mouthing black men, she'll get, she'll get views from that. So will Paris Milan. So will all these other places that do the same thing. Tommy Sotomayor is a person that degrades black women. His platform is solely made for that even though he says he loves black women it's full of shit so i just wanted to call out the lie because that is a fucking lie i seen black men talking about this dude the first fucking time it happened immediately when i found about ara Shafer, whatever the fuck his last name is i don't even care how to pronounce it i called his ass out chris crazy house did the same thing tori and ray did the same thing okay a number of black men that i'm subscribed to on youtube did the same fucking thing they called that white boy out for what he did when he mocked and made a mockery, made a, 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 a sham 
Well, I'm not going to say a sham. He made pretty much light of Kobe Bryant and his daughter dying. You don't do that. I don't give a fuck, okay? So that's a damn lie. And like I said, Professor Black Truth, Jason Black, a number of other intellectual black men out there who actually speak the truth about what's going on in the system, they talked about this before Gail King came out. They talked about Gail King years before this when she was doing, well, even not even years, maybe months before when she did the, when she did the R. Kelly thing. But they also talked about Oprah Winfrey. They talked about Gail King. They talked about these other members of the you know black society who do white people's bidding like Steve Harvey and all these other ones like Ben Carson. So it's been going on. So I enjoy the part that she likes to lie about this. And she'll tell you that she's not lying because, see, the thing is about the thing I notice about Cynthia G and other people who are like her. And I'm not saying this to bad mouth her. I don't give a fuck if she doesn't like it or not. It doesn't matter to me. Is that these people think they're smart. They think that they're smart. And if you disagree with them, you're just stupid because you don't see what they see. I'm not going to come on here and tell you I'm the most intelligent person in the world, but I know what's bullshit and what ain't bullshit. And she just lied, okay, in the story. That's why I don't listen to her no more. And I don't give a fuck if she don't care if I listen to her. I don't care if she ever sees this video. It doesn't matter. I don't care if she sees it or not. I don't care about her. I cared enough to talk about this because it's a goddamn lie what she just said, as you heard in that audio. I don't understand why black people have to get up on here and fucking lie. And then you come, you want to make black men look bad so badly that you have to lie about it. Same thing with people like Tommy Sotomayor. Why you have to fucking lie? I swear, man, it's just ridiculous. You don't, you don't love black people if you're doing shit like this to black people. Gail King and Oprah Murphy don't love black people when they're doing shit like this to their own people. So you clearly don't love black men if you keep blaming them for every fucking thing. And you don't give credit to the ones who are actually out here doing things. Credit is never given to the black men out here who are doing things. I guess no black man on this planet is ever doing any fucking thing. But you look in your history, you see that a lot of black men, as, as well as women, made a lot of things that have... Still been used in this society to this day. But we don't do anything, I guess, right? <laughs> People, I'm out. This shit is, this shit is ridiculous. It's absolute, it's absolute bullshit. But I, t I just showed you that, that it's a fucking lie. And if you don't believe me, just go on YouTube and search, and you'll see that these videos are up where you have these people talking about this shit way before Kobe Bryant, okay? This is just ridiculous. I don't know why the fuck people have to lie so much. I don't understand it, but then again, I do, because if you want to push your narrative and you want people to believe in you, you will fucking lie, and they will be so goddamn blind because they follow you so blindly that they'll believe everything you say. I'm out.